This is the XP Pen Artist 13.3. The 16 inch version of this tablet is one of the best Wacom alternatives I have ever reviewed. So how does this one stack up? Let's find out. So the folks over at XP Pen sent me this tablet well over a month ago. I even did an unboxing video and a lot of people have been asking me since then, yo, dude, where is the review? So long story short, they sent me out a, the first tablet, it was defective, it had some issues and I was having a lot of problems with it. They sent me out a pen because they thought the problem might be the pen. And then lastly, they ended up sending me a completely new unit and new pen to test with. And I just wanted to make sure that I had everything right before I put this review together. So what what is this? It's a pen display or a monitor that you can plug into your Windows or Mac computer. It becomes a second screen and you can draw on it using the handy dandy pen they include in the box. The screen itself is full HD and it looks pretty good. It's not perfect. It's a touch yellow compared to my MacBook screen. Most people probably won't even notice, but I wish I could push up the blue color just a touch. You can adjust the brightness along the side using these two little side buttons, but there's no way to adjust the color balance on the screen. It also comes with this extra extra matte finish, this non-glare finish on the screen. I really like this. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that I like to have a little bit of edge, a little bit of tooth to the screens that I draw on. Now the matte screen is going to dull the color a little bit more than a glossy screen is, but it gives me so much more control over my stylus when I'm drawing and that's why I like it. There is one downside to the matte screen and that is I find that it scratches easily. I accidentally nicked mine with the ruler when I was doing my pen tests. We also have six adjustable hotkeys along the side. Yet another thing that gets the Brad two thumbs up. And there's also another two adjustable buttons on the pen itself. XP Pen also sent me this stand. It's not bad. It's sold separately, but it's one of the cheaper stands out there. It's really solid. Once you press this button along the side, you can set it to any angle you like. And once you let go, it's not going anywhere. There's also some grips on the bottom of the stand itself, so it's not going to slide around your desk either. So how is the pen? Well, it's pretty lightweight. I thought that it might bother me at first, but once I settled in, it was no problem. It's also not perfectly round, so you don't have to worry about it rolling off your desk. This slightly not quite round shape also makes it easier to grip. One thing that happens a lot when I'm using any kind of stylus is that the pen will rotate in my hand just a little bit as I'm using it. And when that happens, I'm always accidentally applying pressure the wrong way to one of the buttons and I'm accidentally clicking buttons along the side. And one of the things I really got to like about this pen is that it prevented me from accidentally hitting those buttons all the time. This is one of those features that I didn't know I wanted in a stylus until I had it. And now I'm like, dude, I need that in all my styluses. So what's it like to draw with the pen itself? Overall, the pressure felt really good. Mix that with the textured screen, it left me with a great first impression as soon as I started drawing. The pressure holds well around curves, it seems to just be very consistent when I'm cross-hatching and doing any kind of line work. Also, this pen might have the best initial activation force of any Wacom alternative that I've used. I've gotten so used to warning everybody and light sketchers from these kind of tablets, so it's really nice for once to be like, hey, if you're a light sketcher, you're gonna be okay. Now at first when I started drawing, I thought that there was some pen wobble and I kept trying to test it and test it over again, but the more I tested it, the better it did. Overall, when I was drawing slow angled lines with this pen, it worked really well, whether I was using a ruler or not using a ruler. But when I would go back to actually drawing, occasionally I would notice some wobble in the pen. It's really kind of hard to diagnose and exactly figure out where that's coming from. And I'm totally willing to admit that it's coming from me and that I just have sloppy hands. Totally possible I don't do the cleanest line work in the world and you're probably even gonna notice it in the drawing that is going on here underneath this video probably because I'm mostly drawing around a tripod which makes my hand even wobblier as I used the pen more and tried it out in other apps my experience was mixed some apps were really good to draw in Adobe Photoshop was one of them other apps like Medibang and Sketchbook Pro weren't so good Medibang wasn't actually that bad Sketchbook Pro was really shaky when I was drawing lines I also found occasionally in Medibang Pro holding pressure was inconsistent so if I was hand drawing a line I would see some parts of my stroke coming out really thick and other parts of my stroke coming out really thin. What's interesting here is that when I was drawing with a ruler and actually doing my pen test everything was good but when I was organically drawing it wasn't. It made it really hard to judge this pen because sometimes it felt really really good to draw with and other times it felt inconsistent and it didn't feel like I was in control and I'm really sincerely curious to see what other people say when they get this tablet and they review it themselves. The other thing that I ran into that was a little quirky, at least on the Mac, was calibration. When I calibrated this tablet on my PC, on my Windows laptop, I had no problem at all. It was great. It made the parallax a little bit better. 
I did a pretty good job of matching up where the pen tip was to where the cursor was on the screen. On the Mac, on the other hand, everything was off by like 10 pixels. It kind of shifted to the right. And so I went to calibrate the screen and that almost made it worse. Like now it was off by a couple pixels more. So I ended up going back and off shooting those marks that you're supposed to hit to actually make the pen line up. I had to calibrate this six or seven times before I got it to the point where I liked it. It's entirely possible that many of the things that I encountered here were issues that can be solved just with a driver update. And overall, I feel that if you're going to pick up something that XP Pen makes, definitely check out the 16 over the 13 because it didn't have any of these consistency problems. If you do really want a 13 inch tablet, there's also the Artisol 13 out there and the Pablo Coast 13. Neither of them seem to have the same amount of issues. I kind of feel like I'm picking on this tablet and it's not that it was horrendously bad. I just think there's more consistent stuff out there there. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And also, we're reaching the end of the year, so I just wanted to say, lastly, thank you guys. It's been a pretty amazing year this year. I've really grown. I'm almost at like 50,000 subscribers. Also, uh, this channel, I've been doing more and more videos. And part of the reason why is because you guys support me. Some of you support me through Patreon, paying me a little bit of money every month so I can do what I do. Other people have bought some of my tutorials. I have links to a couple of those down below. Low. I really appreciate that. That helps me create more content. And lastly, people check out my website. Click on my Amazon links. I get a little from that. And it's amazing how all of those little things add up and really help support this channel and how I can spend more and more time making videos and less and less time doing client work. And I think next year is going to be even better. So I want to thank each and every one of you who likes a video, subscribes, and does all that stuff. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks. Thanks.